gets up ice. That's the Guerrero rock by Anderson. Good check. And now we got a fight as Hathaway breaks in. Shoots. Scores! Nobody blew the whistle. They didn't hear a whistle. No. Garnett Hathaway gets his second of the game as a fight broke out at center ice after that hit by Anderson. And the Flames make it 4-1 with a minute 53 to go, if it counts. Yeah, you got Brady Shea. I, I think none of the officials were motioning that they had blown the whistle, but there was literally the gloves have dropped. Brady Shea went right after Anderson after that hit. But Anderson didn't do anything. He just laid there. Giordano was on top of him, and after the turnover in the neutral zone there as Zuccarello got hit. You can see Hathaway just buried himself up ice, and he makes an absolute perfect shot. Here's the cross seam hit, and there was an instantaneous reaction by Shea in all alone, and I'm not sure what Lundquist would have been watching. He would be, probably be taking be a little look yeah. and expecting it, but to credit Hathaway, he just continued on, and I did not hear a whistle anywhere, and it looks now like the goal is going to count and probably have a penalty after it. Wow. Well, that line really, they scored that goal that turned the momentum in the second. They've had a number of great shifts, and then Garnet Hathaway gets his second of the game in the season, and you can see the frustration in Henrik Lundqvist. Yeah, and it just left on his own. And there's a, just a great example of so often it's just the quickness of your release and the place that you put it. It wasn't a big booming slap shot. He just shot in stride and put it right over the elbow and up under the bar. And he's watching it now goes, wow, I can't can't believe what just happened there.